What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys a Zama Senta and Basket Legion team for ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Zama Senta, we all now know that this Pokemon is top tier within the Regulation G format. But on the other hand, Basket Legion is now an off meta Pokemon. But I still love this Pokemon. I still think it's super viable considering it has Swift Swim. And we can pair it up with Pelipper, making it do an insane amount of damage in the rain. But let's talk about Zamacenta in our top right hand corner with Dauntless Shield and the Rusted Shield as item and ability. It's able to hop onto the field, get that plus one defense boost, and then from there it can body press away. Furthermore, Zamacenta has Heavy Slam, Iron Defense, and Protect. So the main purpose of this Pokemon is to just set up defense boost, be super bulky, and deal big time damage with body press. Like I mentioned, we got Bash Legion and Pelipper. Bash Legion going to be a super fast Pokemon, especially within the rain. And it does crazy amount of damage with Life Orb and then a great move set of Wave Crash. Last respects in Devour, and last but not least, obviously it has Protect, one of the best moves for competitive doubles. Pelipper is in our final slot in the right hand corner with Wideguard, Hurricane, Weather Ball, and Protect. Wideguard top tier within Regulation G. Hurricane's gonna be a nice stab move that hits 100% of the time in the rain. Our final three Pokemon, rocking out with Galarian Moltres, Incineroar, and Rollaboom. Obviously, Incineroar and Rollaboom are there for Intimidates, Fake Outs, and Terrain Control, and Moltres is a great special attacker and a great Tailwind user for the team. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right-hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing the Zamacenta and Basque Legion team. Before we get started with match number one, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Yan. Yan, thank you so much for sending me this team over on Twitter. And thank you so much for being a long time viewer. My boy Yan has been watching since the Sword and Shield days. I appreciate all the support. But we're going up against Shen Pao and Rayquaza here in match number one. And it's so funny because I haven't seen Rayquaza on the rank ladder. And I just released a video with a Rayquaza and now we're bursting it. Kind of funny, but they also have Incineroar, Billaboom for Rigor Raft to stop first turn priority and to counter Trick Room. And last but not least, they do have Urshfu. So I can see them just going straight into Rayquaza Shen Pao. I could lead my Incineroar and try to get after it. I could go into bulky Samazenta as well and just look to boost defense. And I think that's our best interest, right? Just go boost defense right off the rip. If they want to fake me out, they can fake me out. I think going into that is perfectly fine. And then we can intimidate any physical attackers or parting shot or just Will-O-Wisp. A lot of different options. So I'm going to go into these two. And then in the back end, just bring the rain combo. Bash Legion Pelipper. I'm such a fan of this. I'm such a fan of this. And when you go up against like first turn priority spam like this, I feel like going into Tailwind is just a waste of a turn. Because they're just going to first turn priority regardless. So Tailwind doesn't really matter. So I like going into the lead that we have. We can intimidate right off the rip. We can try to boost our defense. I like we have a lot of different options. But they're going to go in Urshfu, which Urshfu is definitely a little scary here. I mean, it can go for those guaranteed crits, which really throws me off a little bit. And I still think I go into a, a what's it called here? A fake out and a uh, iron defense. I do think that's our best interest. So I'm going to go iron defense here. I am just going to stick with the fake out into this Urshfu slot, considering Urshfu is the scary Pokemon with surging strikes. Plus, Shen Pao could just Thrasilize into Ghost if it wants to. And he's just going to withdraw it anyway. So, we withdraw Shen Pao. We're going to get off a free Iron Defense to get things started. Actually, we're not. Varigarath comes out here, man. Varigarath. Hate this Pokemon. He's going to Armor Tail up. And let's see what he ends up going for. He's just going to take out Incineroar, which is rather smart. So, Incineroar dies out here. We get off Body Press. I hope that was worth it. I think it is. I think it is. We eat up a berry for no reason. We're dead regardless. That was a smart play by him to swap out into Frigoraph. I didn't think he would bring Frigoraph, to be honest with you guys. I really didn't. I really didn't, but I guess that, that works fine. So we know three of his Pokemon. Chances are his last Pokemon is his Restricted, the Rayquaza. And that would make a lot of sense, right? With Shen Pao in the back end now. That's not bad for him. Um, I could go into Pelipper and just start looking to drop Hurricanes. Will Wideguard really do anything for us? I mean, I can boost his water damage, which I really don't want to do. I really don't want to do. Huh. I mean, going into Basket Legion is not bad. I mean, it stops water moves. Hmm. I really just don't want to boost his... His water damage output. So I'm just going to go into Basket Legion here. Just going to calm down for a second. We got body presses ready to go. We're plus a lot. We're plus three on defense. I just need to be able to get rid of... Urshifu. I need Urshifu gone, so I'm just going to double down into Urshifu at this point. Um, instead of going into Wave Crash, I'd rather go for Last Respects here. 
This Urshfu could be Sash, but chances are it's Mystic Water. Urshfu's just a little scary. That's why I didn't want to go into Pelipper, give it that water boost. Because then at that point, it would just be obviously doing a ridiculous amount of damage with certain strikes, which we don't want. So we're still going to be able to crit, but we should still be able to soak decently well. Which I'm really hoping we can at least soak it with half, right? He's going to trash slice into water, I believe. I believe he just wants to go as much damage as he can. No, he's going to trash slice Frig Raph, which is fine by me. He's going to go into a straight Fairy Frig Raph. A Fairy Terror with Frig Raph, hoping no detect from this Urshfu. And he's going to stick with the Surge Strikes, which we soak rather well. Cool. That's big time soak. We have to get rid of Urshfu here. Urshfu is just a big threat. Urshifu, just a massive threat. We're gonna hit a little bit body press. Can you just one-shot him? You do. Beautiful. Beautiful. And now last respect's gonna fly into the free air slot. Do minimal damage, but still. I'd rather do a little bit of damage than anything. Actually, it did a good chunk. That did a good chunk of damage. A lot more than I thought it would. Thank you, Basque Legion. So now Frigraph's sitting here, decent HP. I mean, I could body press into whoever he throws out here, but he's just gonna shadow ball me, which I should soak, right? Frigraph, that's not stab. Yeah, okay. Basket Legion soak. You get a special defense drop, which kinda sucks, man. And I don't know if I should set the rain and save Basket Legion for later. That might be in my best interest. But I mean, Shen Pao can just sucker punch here. Shen Pao could sucker punch, which I think he's gonna do. I think he is going to end up sucker punching. So I think from here, we honestly just go into a... I could heavy slam and look to KO you. But I think I'd rather take off Focus Ash. What would I rather do? Would I rather bring you down to 1 HP? Or would I rather KO for grip? I think I'd rather bring you down to 1 HP. I'm going to do that. And I am just going to swap into Pelper here. I mean, honestly, you have Rocky Helmet. This could come in clutch, so we'll swap Bash Legion. We'll get the rain out for him for a little bit later. If I can get rid of Shen Pao, I kind of like where we're sitting. Pelipper's going to come out here. And we're going to set the rain. The lovely little rain. There goes the Sucker Punch. Good call for us. Great call for us. Body Press is just going to pick up some big time damage. So we put him on 1 HP. Rigraph going to do what? Didn't go for a Psychic. How much damage is a Psychic doing? Okay, Okay. and now we got to go for a heavy slam here, and then go for, I guess, just a weather ball, and look to finish you off. I like this. I like this. I mean, I don't think Shen Pao can KO my, my Zama Zenta right now. I don't think he can. We still have Terror type, which is good news for us. We still do have Terror, but I just don't see a point of using it. I kind of like my typing right now. I don't think Shen Pao can pick up the KO. He's just going to end up protecting, which is a fine turn. Which is a fine turn. I mean, they, this Heavy Slam should just KO, correct? Yeah, cool. So we pick up the KO there. Rayquaza is now going to be the Pokemon that comes out here. Um, E-Speed's looking terrifying. It's looking terrifying. I'd love to get off a of Body Press. But I need to take out a Pokemon here. And I think, I, I think I'd rather take out Shen Pao than Rayquaza. Let's be honest. So I'm going to double down to Shen Pao this turn. I think that's just in our best interest. He doesn't have Terra, so we can't get that normal Terra boost. I do have Rocky Helmet, which is awesome. Um... And yeah, I just think double down into Shen Pao is definitely our play here. I could protect, but again, doubling down is just hands down our play. I could go for Heavy Slam just in case, but... Because say Shen Pao goes for Sucker Punch into Pelipper, he's going to die to Rocky Helmet. Yeah, I'd rather go for Heavy Slam over Body Press. Body Press still probably does a nice chunk of damage, so I'll do that. On top of that, I will throw a Hurricane. And again, we're just doubling down into the Shen Pao slot. So we could E-Speed and Sucker Punch. I don't think one of them will KO Zamazenta. I think both can. But if that's the case, then Pelipper is just going to take out Shen Pao, and then we can get out Bashiku Legion. And Bashiku Legion up against Rayquaza is nice, because he can't E-Speed it. We're Ghost-type. You are a lovely little Ghost-type Pokemon. So out comes the Sucker Punch. You will take Rocky Helmet damage, which is massive. You're going to die out. And now both moves will slide over to Rayquaza, which is why I wanted to use Heavy Slam over Body Press. So this should work out fine for us. Heavy Slam is actually going to go first, which is gorgeous. Might pick up a little bit of damage. Honestly, Body Press might do more. And then Hurricane follows through. Can this KO and just end the game? It doesn't, but I love where we're sitting. Dragon Ascent now comes out here. No problem. We actually soak that. And that's going to be game. So first match going to us. We play this one so perfectly. Boosting Zamazenda's defense early on. Sacrificing our... Our... What's it called? 
our Incineroar. And we're just fine after that. Bashka Legion Pelipper takes a little bit of damage, but all around, killing it. We'll go for another Hurricane. We will go for another Heavy Slam, and that's going to be the game. It's just going to go E-Speed, take out you, and I'm fine here. I'm fine with Bashka Legion. And you take Rocky Helmet damage. That Rocky Helmet actually came in clutch. Good old Rocky Helmet. I feel like Rocky Helmet just, it's just so good. Especially up against like Urshfu's, like if they go for, we should have probably swapped in a Pelipper for Incineroar and for enforced the Surging Strikes into Incin uh, Pelipper, because Rocky Helmet just does too much damage. Moving on to our next match, we are going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room Team. Now when it comes to Ice Rider Calyrex, this Pokemon is just super strong on the physical attack inside, which is why Zamazenta could definitely be a big time play for us considering defense boost. Gonna make him super bulky, gonna make him soak up a lot of things. So what I think they're thinking is, they're thinking we're gonna bring in Zamazenta, which obviously we are, we kinda have to. And they're like, we're gonna need something to counter Zamazenta. So I think in their case, they wanna bring Torkoal. So we're gonna have to bring our Weather Squad to kinda counter their Weather Squad to keep our Zamazenta alive, right? Makes the most sense. So I think a solid lead for us is going to be Zamazenta. And I honestly like Incineroar here, but they could lead Defiant Annihilate, which I don't like. Which I do not like. So do I just go in like Moltres in this case? I really want Incineroar. I really do want Incineroar, but I don't want to lead Incineroar. We could just go Pelipper here. I don't mind going Pelipper and then bring Incineroar and Basket Legion in the back end. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So if they are going to pop a Trick Room, I think we just go straight into, uh, what's it called? Straight into an Iron Defense. I think the only problem we would have with this lead is if they end up leading Torkoal, right? Because then we set Rain and then they set Sun, which will ultimately give them the Sun, and we really don't want that. We really don't want that. No Torkoal lead? Cool, no Torkoal lead. So this is why we didn't lead Incineroar. It's actually solid for us. So we could bulk up. I might Iron Defense. I think it's a pretty simple Iron Defense for me. And I might just go into a Hurricane. You could swap into Torkoal. That, that is an option. You could swap into Torkoal. You could if you want to. You, you could. But I mean, I just think our Iron Defense is definitely a play. So I'm going to go Iron Defense here. Um, I am going to just look to go for a Hurricane. I could swap Pelipper here, which wouldn't be a bad swap for us. And he's just going to Final Gambit. Can I soak this? Oh, man. Final Gambo. Didn't even think of that. Didn't even think of that. I thought it was just a bulk up kind of Annihilate play. But I should have realized it was Final Gambit considering they were sitting there with a... It was in a Trick Room squad. Give me Ducks. Oh, man. No bueno. Not good. Not good for me. Not good. Not good. Um, I could go Incineroar. Incineroar's not bad. We're going to go Incineroar here. Over Basque Legion. Just in case they want to throw out Torkoal here. Yep. Because now I can fake it out. Actually, I can't fake it out. We got terrain. I'm just going to have to swap. Helper into Basco Legion, and then just take out Indeedee. Oh man, yeah, this is bad. This is bad. Final Gambo getting the best of us. Um, hmm. If I take out Indeedee, I force out what's it called, though. I do have Wide Guard. I do have Wide Guard. I could Wide Guard up. I think I'd rather save that wide guard in my back pocket. I think I'd rather save the wide guard play in my back pocket. Because I can get a chance where Pelipper can wide guard up Eruption slash Heat Wave and, and what's it called? Glacial Lance. Because this has got to be Ice Rider Calyx, which I don't mind. So I'm able to hit knockoff on this thing and actually do a nice chunk of damage. Let's see. Let's see what you're going for here. So he swaps in DD. That's fine. I don't know why you would swap Indeedee. I think you should have just followed me, Indeedee, and have that thing die and then get out Calyrex. But we're able to bring out Basket Legion here, which is actually nice. He goes for an Earth Power, which we soak pretty well. We do have a Citrus Barrier, which is good news for us. And actually, you have Unnerve, you little biscuit. We do take off Clear Emote, though. We do take off Clear Emote. So now that Clear Emote's gone, I mean, swapping into Pelipper is definitely in our best interest. So I'm going to swap into Pelipper, and we just go for Last Respects. I mean, you could swap into Indeedee on that slot, but I think we just straight up attack here. I think we just straight up attack. Alright, so let's waste out some turns. 
let's waste out some turns. So that's not a bad knockup for us, considering clear aim, which is so good. And we can definitely intimidate again if we want to. But I mean, Torkoal is scary. I'm kind of hoping it's going for a fire move here, because we're getting out in the rain. But I would think it would swap, right? Why else would we swap Pelipper? Just to swap it out. He ends up going for an Earth Power. He stays in that slot. We like this turn. We like this turn. He goes for a high horsepower over into you, which we soak. That's respects my KO. Go ahead, Basque Legion. Have a day. Have a day. Now they can't change weather. Now you simply cannot change weather, and we're sitting in a great spot. So after the final gambit into our Zamazenta, we make some good reads, some good swaps, and we put us in a nice position to win this game. Awesome. Lovely. 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 I mean, from here, I really just want to go for a weather ball into Torkoal and honestly just protect and waste out a turn. That's exactly what I'm going to do because if they're going to do anything, they're probably going to go for an Earth Power into the Bastion Legion slot and maybe go for a Follow Me. So I just think protecting and wasting out a turn could be good. We could honestly save our Bastion Legion and swap into Incineroar. And yep, there's an Earth Power into Bastion Legion. Look at these reeds, baby. Come on now. Come on now. Dazzling Gleam's going to fly. We're blocking that. Pelipper soaking. Probably rather well. Dazzling Gleam doesn't hit too hard from Indeedee, let's be honest here. Yeah, about 30, 31. Weather Ball now flies. Torkoal taking some big time damage. And it's just dumping on it. Get on out of here, Torkoal. Let's go, guys. The big time win for us. That's going to put us 2-0. A little bit of 2-0 action. But I'm super surprised he didn't Terrasilize, right? Yeah, no Terra coming out from... From Calyrex or even Torkoal. Which is odd. Which is definitely odd, but now it's going to another hurricane, and we'll go into wave crash, and that should be game. They just cancel match, so we are killing it so far. 2-0. It's perfect record time, ladies and gentlemen. We are sitting 2-0. We smacked up on that Ice Rider Calyrex team in that last match, and now we're looking to smack up on a Shadow Rider Calyrex team in match number three. Pretty tough squad. They got Indeed to pair up with the Calyrex. Furthermore, they got Tornadus to get that speed control. They got Fluttermane. They got Chiyu. Great little combo there, and last but not least, they have Robum. Now, we could go into our tail user, which is honestly pretty solid, a Dirt-type Pokemon, and I think we kind of want to, right? I think we kind of have to. If they want to go into Fluttermane, ooh, if they want to go into Fluttermane Chiyu, that'd be tough news for us. I wouldn't like that one bit, but I don't think they do that. I think they go Tornadus and the Calyrex or Indeedee Calyrex. I don't think they go Chiyu Calyrex. I really don't. I really do not, but I do like this lead here. I think I'm going to lead it with Zamazenta. I think that's solid because we can always heavy slam if they want to go into Fluttermane. And then in the back end, we bring Weather Squad. I don't think they bring Rollboom. I do not think they bring Rollboom. And I didn't even... Mm, I didn't click done. I didn't click done. And there was three seconds left. So hopefully it picks my Pokemon. I think it might just pick the top four. Which I mean, that's not bad to have the top four though. It has the lead that we want to. So either way, we should have Moltres and Zamazenta coming out on the field. But we might not have... We might have Rillaboom and Sinnoh. Let's see. Let's see. So I do like my lead if I do have... It. Yeah, I do like my lead here. That's a pretty solid lead for us. Get out my Moltres. I can tail wind set up here. They might just hard swap, to be honest. Or they can go Fairy Terror and maybe Drain and Kiss. That's an option. Well, let's see who we have. Oh, we do have a Rain Squad. Cool. We got our rain squad. <laughs> so we got our rain squad. It did end up giving us what we wanted. Um, I could fire out. I think I should just stay one here. Kind of help us out a little bit. And do I iron defense or do I heavy slam? I could protect. I think I'm just going to protect here. As I'm going to set to soak up some shots. And we'll see what they want to do. What you got? What you got cooking here, Calyrex? You're going to go for tailwind. I'm going to go for Tailwind, just kind of match energy here. He's going to go for Shadow Ball, which we block. That's big time protection. We go Tailwind for Tailwind. A little T-Wind for T-Wind. That's fine, because now I can just go into Fire Wraths. I could Terror Dark if I want to. But I want to, though? Not really. Not really. We'll just hit a Fire Wrath here, and we'll go into... I don't really think Iron Defense is going to be our best bet here. I think we just double down to Calyrex. Because, I mean, a lot of their Pokemon on our team are special attacking besides the Rollaboom and Instant War. So, I mean, let's be honest here. These these Iron Defense boosts aren't doing anything crazy. I'd rather just go for Heavy Slams. Because I would think you would have Chiyu Fluttermane in the back end. You definitely could. You're just going to taunt my Zombies out there. Go ahead, waste a turn. I just said I wasn't Iron Defensive. It's just not happening. He's going to go for the Astro Barrage. That's totally fine. That's fine by me. 
My boys soak pretty well. I mean, Zombie Sentai actually takes some nice damage. And this thing turns out to be Life Orb, so he loses a little bit of HP. Heavy Slam flies, does some nice damage. Fire Wrath gonna pick up KO. Gonna do some nice damage over onto Tornadus as well. And nice. It's still a start for us. We get rid of those Shadow Rider Calyrex, which is huge. So now if they go into Fluttermane, I mean, I could just Heavy Slam that, but I, I doubt they go into Fluttermane. I do doubt it. I do doubt you go into Fluttermane. And you do go into Fluttermane. You do go into Fluttermane. I'm just gonna hit another Fire Wrath. I'm gonna go for Heavy Slam. You give me no reason not to go into Heavy Slam. You could protect here, but I mean, if you do end up protecting, I mean, I have Fiery Wrath dealing damage onto Tornadus, which is good. But we'll see a Terror pop out here from Fluttermane. It is gonna be very, honestly, hmm. I maybe should have just uh, swapped my my bird, but I, I couldn't have Thrastalized. That's my only problem with that. He's gonna die here. I could have swapped him, but. And actually, that takes out mm, Zamazenta. Never mind. That was a big deal for us. <laughs> that was a big deal. That ends up taking us out. That's the only problem with that Dark Terror type there. I would have loved to have Steel for our bird because we could have just sent it. But I mean, I have the Rain Squad now, which is honestly great news for us. I doubt you have Sunny Day. Actually, you could have Sunny Day. I hope you don't have Sunny Day because if you don't have Sunny Day, we're actually sitting in a great position to probably win this game. And I think I should just wide guard here. I think going into wide guard is your best bet. So I'll go for wide guard. Considering Dazzle Gleam and Bleak Windstorm could fly out here. And we will just wait and crash this Fluttermane down. Going no after Fluttermane. He ends up withdrawing. Who are you going into? Rillaboom? This is definitely Rillaboom, ain't it? This is definitely Rillaboom. I'm going to be so upset. It's a Rillaboom! I was hoping maybe it would be Incineroar. Good swap on their end. So they end up taking Grassy Terrain. I'm gonna pop a nice little wide guard here to dodge a little bit of bleak wind storm action. And he's gonna taunt me. Oh man, dude, what you doing taunting me? We don't like that. We don't like that. We don't like that. Wave crash, how much damage are you doing? That's great damage. That is great damage. That is great damage. So I do have Terra still. I do have my uh, Terra. They already used theirs on their foot, I mean. Hurricane can dump on. Uh, Rillaboom. Tailwind's gonna go. Honestly, they might just fake out here. They might go for fake out and then Tailwind. What's your terror type, Bash Legion? It's water, man. I needed it to be something other than water. So bad here. So bad I needed it to be something other than water. What do you got? You got Fairy. I'm g I guess I got a Hurricane and Protect, even though I think he's going to fake out my Pelipper. I think he fakes out my Pelipper and then goes into a Tailwind. Let's see. No, you don't go for Fake Out. Okay, so you're going to maybe go for a Grassy God here? Into Basque Legion, hopefully? Go for Woodhammer into Basque Legion. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so that turn works out. That turn works out. Hurricane's going to fly here. Hopefully our Taunt ends, so... Does our Taunt end this turn? I'm not sure. I hope it does. I think we need one more turn. It would have been nice for it to end because then we could pose a threat of wide guard actually being a thing, but they know we can't wide guard with Taunt out here. What's my play here? I just protected my Bastion Legion. I think I have to Terrestrialize Bastion Legion just in case like a Shadow Ball comes out here. Oh man, I could go Fairy Terra, but... Honestly, I think Weather Ball actually does a bit more damage. I'm gonna go for Weather Ball into you. And I'm gonna Terrasize and go for the Wave Crash into Fluttermane. Oh, man! Oh, man. Man, oh, man. Man, oh, man. This Fluttermane getting after it. Alright. So he's probably going for Bleak Windstorm Dad something. That's what I would think. I mean, we Terrasize just in case, like, the Shadow Ball is flying through here. And no, there's Dad something. Can any of you guys soak? I know, I think Pelipper should soak. Basculation, can you soak? Wow, Pelipper didn't soak, and Basculation lives on one, which is going to be game, because Wave Crash, I mean, they're going to outspeed us, but I was going to say, Wave Crash would take a recoil damage, so GG's to our opponent. Fluttermane just doing Fluttermane things, right? Fluttermane just being overpowered. Fluttermane is so strong, but hey, I'll take a 2-1 winning record with this Basculation and Salmacentic team any day of the week.
There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Add this video under the winning record column. We grab ourselves another winning record going two and one with Bash Collegiate and Salma Santa. Now, I love this team. I use Salma Santa multiple times on the regulation G ladder, and this thing is stronger every time I use it. It's just such a good Pokemon. But Bash Collegiate, haven't used it in a while, and I love this Pokemon, so I'm glad we got to get it out there. Do some big time damage with Last Respects and Wave Crash next to Pelipper. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.